Hello all, welcome to this new lesson called working with printf function. So in the previous lesson, we discussed about the different uh, range of values that can be stored in variables of uh, different data types. And in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to print values of different data types using format specifiers along with printf function. Okay, so let's get started. So as you can see on the screen, I have written a very simple C program to print hello world on the screen. And to print these characters, hello world, I have made use of a function called as printf. So printf is a standard C library function, which is used to print certain characters on the screen as output. And if you want to print certain characters on the screen as output, it is mandatory that you have to group those characters in between a pair of double quotes, like how I've shown you on the screen over here, right? So in C language, any group of characters that are written in between a pair of double quotes is considered as a string, right? So therefore, if you want to print certain characters on the screen, it is mandatory that you have to group those characters, okay, in the form of a string. That is, you have to write those characters in between a pair of double quotes and then give it as input to print a function. For example, if suppose you want to print Subash on the screen, in that case, these characters S-U-B-H-A-S-H has to be written in between a pair of double quotes. You will have to make it as a string and then pass it as a parameter to the printf function. So once I do this, printf function will print Subash on the screen as output. Now, how does printf function work? Printf function, the moment it gets the set of characters, uh, which are present in between a double quotes, it starts fetching these characters one by one, starting from the opening quote, right? In our example, we have the first character as H. So H will get printed on the screen. Okay, it takes the first character, prints it on the screen. Then it takes E, then it prints it on the screen. It takes L, prints it on the screen. It takes another L, even that gets printed on the screen. It takes O, that gets printed on the screen. And printf will now encounter a space because space is also considered as a character in C language. Even space gets printed on the screen, okay? And then uh, it encounters W, that gets printed on the screen, O gets printed on the screen, R gets printed on the screen, L gets printed on the screen, and then it sees D, D gets printed on the screen. And the moment when printf encounters a closing double quote, right? So printf understands that, that this is the end of a string and there is no more characters to be printed on the screen and printf function terminates. So this is how printf function will actually work. So if you want to print certain characters on the screen, then those characters has to be written in between a pair of double quotes. It must look like a string and that string has to be passed as input to the printf function as a parameter. Right, so this is how printf function will work. Now, what if I want to print integer type of data, or what if I want to print floating point type of data? Right, in that case, I will have to make use of something called as format specifiers, which I'm going to explain you in the next slide. Okay, now in this slide, as you can see, I've given you a few basic format specifiers, right? So they are percentage D, percentage F, and percentage C. So now you might ask me. Subhash, first of all, what do you mean by a format specifier, isn't it? So format specifier will indicate to the printf as to how the data has to be formatted before printing the data on the screen as output. Let me repeat, format specifier will indicate to the printf as to how the data has to be formatted before printing it on the screen as output, right? So how it has to be formatted would be told by these format specifiers. Right, say percentage D, percentage F, and percentage C are some basic examples for the basic format specifiers. Right, so there are several other format specifiers also, which I would be making use of those in you know the other uh, lessons. Okay, when and where actually uh, required. Right, so for the brevity of this lesson, let us only discuss these uh, basic format specifiers. Okay, now the first one is percentage D. The first format specifier percentage D indicates to the printf that it has to format the data in integer format, right? Now, when printf encounters this format specifier percentage F, it understands that the data has to be formatted in floating point format. Similarly, when printf encounters the format specifier percentage C, it understands that it has to format the data in CAR format before printing it on the screen as output. So to understand these better, let us work on few programs, okay? Now, 
So this is your second example of printf. Okay. So uh, before getting into the printf function, let us understand uh, about what is written before this. So we have uh, two variables a and b. Both are of type integers, and a contains a value five, and six is stored in b. Right. Now after these two lines, we have this function called as printf. Right. So when you see this version of printf and compare it with the version that we discussed earlier in uh, this lesson, you can see that there is a lot of difference, isn't it? So in the example that we discussed earlier, that is in this uh, example that you can see on the screen, printf function takes only one uh, you know string as input. Right. There is only hello world and there is nothing else. Right. But if you can compare this printf function with the one which is there on the slide now, okay. So this printf function along with the string data. it also takes two more parameters right so this printf function is different from the one we actually saw earlier isn't it right now i'm going to explain you how this works right so as told earlier so printf function is used to print certain characters on the screen right so whichever character that it encounters as part of its string data as part of you know uh, its double quotes it starts printing each and every character on the screen until it uh, you know um, uh, until it finds a, a matching uh, double quote right n closing double quote right or n uh, 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 closing double quote right it starts printing each and every characters that it encounters in between these uh, pair of double quotes right so in our example so it starts printing t on the screen okay it starts printing h on the screen it starts printing e on the screen it starts printing space on the screen as you can see the output is over here okay so it starts printing all the characters until yes as you can see it prints the value of a is it gets printed on the screen right but the moment the printf encounters a format specifier percentage d okay this format specifier does not get printed on the screen rather the moment printf encounters this format specifier it immediately goes to the other part of the double quotes okay it goes to the other part of double quotes okay where this uh, string ends it goes here it fetches the value from this variable a in our case it is 5 and that 5 gets replaced in place of this format specifier percentage d and that is why you can see the output here as the value of a is 5 right now as i shown you in the previous slide percentage d indicates to the printf that the data that it has to print is an integer type of data and in our example a is of type integer and that is why we have used the format specifier percentage d therefore the moment it encounters any format specifier as part of its string data it immediately goes out of the string which is the value that is there out of the string and it replaces that value uh, with uh, in place of this format specifier and then it again continues right so the value of a is 5 and value of b as you can see the output the value of b okay is again it encounters one more format specifier so the moment it encounters this format specifier it will no more print this uh, you know uh, data as it is rather it goes to the other part of the double quotes okay it goes out of this double quotes which is the value from b in our case b value is 6 and that b gets replaced in place of per this percentage d gets replaced with the 6 that is the value of b will replace this format specifier percentage d and that gets printed on the screen that is why the output of this program is the value of a is 5 and the value of b is 6 right so as you can see that we have used corresponding uh, format specifier for those data of type integers right so as i shown you in the previous slide so for printing integer type of data we have to make use of the corresponding format specifier which is nothing but percentage d right so here we are trying to print two integer type of data a and b and that is why we have made use of the format specifier percentage d over here right so now in the next program i'm going to show you how to <coughs> print you know uh, the values of two variables okay so one would be a floating point variable the other one would be a integer type of variable okay so let's see how that works coming to the next example as you can see here okay so we have two variables one is a and the other one is b a is of type floating point uh, and b is of type integer right so a contains a value of 5.5 and b contains a value of 5 right so again we have a printf function okay so before moving into this program let us again uh, see what is the format specifier used for printing floating point type of data the format specifier is percentage f right so what happens here is that so printf starts printing each and every character that it encounters as part of its string data so this is the string data 
till here this is the uh, opening uh, double quote and this is the closing double quote so it starts printing all the characters until it finds a uh, format space where right so it prints t h e space v a l u e as you can see in the output it prints everything as it is the value of a is but the moment it encounters a format specifier it won't print this as it is rather it would just jump to the other part of the double quotes fetches the value that is there in a okay we know that a is of type uh, floating point therefore that is the reason we have used a, a percentage f over here and we take this value of a and replace this percentage f with the value of a so in our case a contains 5.5 and that would be formatted as a floating point data over here and once it replaces over here it again the printf again starts continuing to print all the rest of the characters right so we have a and d space and as you can see and value of b until it encounters another format specifier the moment it encounters another format specifier it goes to the other part of the double quotes okay once again fetches the value from the next parameter in our case we know that b is of type integer and that is the reason we have made use of the format specifier percentage d right so the value of b will replace the format specifier percentage d and that is the reason we get the output as b is 5 right therefore the output is the value of a is the value of a which is nothing but 5.50 followed by zeros and value of b is 5 which is nothing but an integer value right so this is how we, we make use of uh, uh, the format specifier to format the data uh, accordingly to the type of data type of these variables that have been used as parameters over here okay so let me show you one more example so in this example we have a character data okay we have a variable a of type character and we are storing a character as you know that any uh, letter which is or any character which is enclosed within a pair of single quotes becomes your character and we also know that fact that okay so whenever you are storing a character into memory right so the character doesn't get stored rather its ascii value gets stored isn't it it gets stored the ascii value gets stored right so we have two types of data to be printed over here one is if suppose i want to print the character a that is stored in a or i want to print its equivalent ascii value right so in that case what should we do okay as you can see over here again printf function is being used so print uh, printf function will print all the characters that it encounters as part of its string data so it starts printing t h e space character e is okay it prints these things as it is over here right and the moment it encounters a format specifier it doesn't print this as it is rather it goes to the other part of the double quotes okay it sees the value a okay a is of type character and we have used the format specifier percentage c which indicates the printf to print the value in a in the character format therefore it prints the character format a and then it continues again a and d and as key value is so the rest of the output is and as key value is it gets printed as it is and then it encounters a format specifier the moment it encounters a format specifier it goes to the other part of the double quotes which is the value of a and we know that a is of type character but we are asking the printf to format this character data in the form of uh, integer therefore what happens is the actual ascii value that is uh, stored in the uh, memory referenced by a would actually get printed therefore we know that the ascii value is an integer uh, uh, value that is 65 and therefore uh, when we say percentage d over here so this character data is formatted as an integer and the ascii value of this corresponding character a will actually get printed on the screen as shown over here therefore the output would be the character is a and ascii value is 65 right the crucial thing that you have to notice here is how the printf formats data based on the format specifier if it is percentage c then the data is printed as a character and if the data if you if the format specifier is percentage d it formats the data in the form of an integer and gives us the ascii value right so this is of uh, your uh, format specifiers will actually work when used along with printf function okay so uh, i think uh, pretty much well you understood how printf function uh, printf function works when associated with format specifiers okay so as a quick repetition repetition okay so format specifiers are used to indicate the printf 
as to how the data has to be formatted or in which format has uh, should the data be printed on the screen when you know it is being printed as an output right that is what format specifiers will do right so if you want to uh, if you want to print integer then you have to make use of a format specifier percentage d if you want to print a floating point data you have to make use of percentage f and if you want to print a character data you have to make use of percentage c and if you want to print the ascii value of a character then you have to make use of the percentage d right so these are some basic format specifiers and uh, i've also given a slide which actually demonstrate the various format specifiers that are supported in c language okay so i would be making use of these format specifiers in various other programs in the upcoming lessons so for now as you can see percentage d is a format specifier for integer percentage d again is also used for short integer okay percentage u indicates that you are trying to format the data as an unsigned integer value okay percentage ld for long value percentage lu for long unsigned value okay this is unsigned okay unsigned value right and then for if you want to print or format the data in hexadecimal format you will have to make use of percentage x and if you want to you know the uh, use hexadecimal format in the long version then you say lx and so on and so forth right so string is for percentages which i'll be discussing in a separate lesson uh, called as strings there is a separate lesson or uh, video lesson that i will be making for strings and i'll be explaining about this percentages over there right so percentage c is used for uh, printing character data percentage f or g is used for float, floating point uh, for printing floating point data and percentage lf e and uh, capital e is used for printing you know uh, double constants right so these are the various format specifiers used along with printf function for printing various various uh, type of data on the screen okay so having said that i think you have come to the end of the lesson hope you learned uh, uh, how to use printf function along with format specifier okay hope you enjoyed the lesson if you really like the lesson then don't forget to like this video and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also please click on the bell icon so that you will receive all my uh, updates on the upcoming uh, programming series okay so having said that thanks for watching so meet you in the next lesson until then take care bye bye see you all bye bye love you all so much